Welcome to Top Facts. Many of you have likely seen this grainy footage of the bow of the Ukrainian Navy Sea Drone estimated to be loaded with as much as 450 kg of TNT explosives. Recorded 4th of August 2023, it's within Russia's Novorossiysk harbour, northeast coast of the Black Sea. The Sea Drone is over 120 miles from the Ukrainian coastline, its journey about to end as it steered remotely towards the midships of the Russian Navy Repucha class landing ship Ologonogorsky Gonyak, hull number 012. The Russian ship is severely damaged and begins to take on water. The next morning, footage appears on media outlets of the ship listing. Supported by several tugs, the ship is towed to a berth within Port Norosisk. It may surprise you, but this is the third Repucha class landing ship to be attacked by Ukrainian forces since the beginning in February 22 of the Russo Ukrainian War. So what is a Rapucha-class landing ship and why does it appear to be a priority target for Ukrainian military officials? To answer these questions we need to go back to March 2017. This is the Khazar Kunikov, commissioned in 1986. She is one of 16 Rapucha-class landing ships which as of 2023 are still technically in active service with the Russian Navy. She is the younger sister ship of the recently damaged Olenogorsky Gonyak, commissioned 10 years earlier in 1975. Here, the 112.5 metre long Khazar Kunikov, with a standard displacement of 2,200 tonnes, is preparing for large scale assault drill exercises in Russian occupied Crimea, annexed from Ukraine since 2014. The landing ship is loading 10 BMD 2, an airborne infantry fighting vehicle specially built for power drop and amphibious operations by the VDV or Russian Airborne Forces. The exercise focus was to seize coastal areas involving several thousand airborne troops conducting simultaneous amphibious landings, offensive airborne missions and firing drills, all with one strategic purpose to gain sea and air superiority while seizing coastal territory. It is very likely the Ukrainian military at this time, and by the way in 2014 had lost 70% of its naval forces, would have monitored the exercises very closely. The Ukrainian military would have assumed this show of Russian might close to mainland Ukraine was a possible prelude to further aggressive land grabs involving a large scale coastal landing and airborne drop somewhere along the southeastern littoral Ukrainian territories, perhaps towards Odessa. The Ukrainians would have noted that key to these Russian operations was the use of large landing ships involving the Repucha class and the aging, mostly 1960s built, Tapir class. Although in 2017, Ukrainian fears of a Russian coastal land grab by sea didn't materialise, further landing ship exercises did take place on Russian coastal beaches far enough away from Ukrainian military observers. Here, a Tapir class large landing ship, Orsk, hull number 148, with a standard displacement of 3,400 tonnes can hold as many as 40 BMD-2 infantry fighting vehicles or a large mix of vehicles including self-propelled artillery and main battle tanks. Although it has a superior capacity to carry more vehicles and troops, it has had to sacrifice most of its offensive and defensive capabilities and is therefore very lightly armed. During landing operations, the Tapir class ships the considerable air and sea defence cover by Russian fixed wing and helicopter assets as well as supporting ships including the Repucha class which are better armed with either a 76mm AK-176 naval gun or two of the older 57mm AK-725 double navy guns. These ships are also armed with an A215 Grad M rocket launcher, four navy 9K32 Strela 2 surface air missile systems and on later built ships 
two times 30 mm AK630 six barreled Gatling guns. Since the 2014 annexation of Crimea, large landing ships have delivered supplies and military equipment to the port of Sevastopol, Crimea. The Russian Federation then began construction in February 2016 of a pair of parallel bridges, one for a four-lane road and one for a double-track railway. It will directly connect Crimea with Russia. On its completion in 2018, the 12-mile bridge is the longest in Europe. Before and during the bridge construction, large landing ships such as the Khazar Kunikov, seen here passing under the arch of the nearly completed Crimea Bridge in May 2018, played a key role in supplying the Russian military in Crimea, a fact that would have been noted by Ukrainian observers. In September 2021, the Russians conducted one of the largest amphibious landing exercises in years as part of a series of military exercises called Zapad 2021. It was a massive display of naval strength and must have sounded alarm bells within the Ukrainian military. It took place at the Kemelevka training ground in Kaliningrad, Russia. Fundamental to this exercise success were the large landing ships assigned to the Baltic and Northern fleets. Before the start of the landing, a detachment of fire support ships launched an artillery strike on the coast to suppress long-term firing points, as well as military equipment and manpower of the opposing side. The landing was supported by Su-30 SM fighters and Su-24 frontline bombers of the Baltic fleet. At this point in September 2021, it would have been clear to the Ukrainian military the critical role Russian landing ships play in Russian naval tactics. On the mid-morning of March 24, 2022, a series of explosions were heard in the occupied port of Berdyansk, Zaporizhia Oblast, Ukraine. The Ukrainian commercial port, captured a month early by Russian troops on 26 February 2022, is now used as a military logistics hub by the Russians to support their offensive in southern Ukraine. In particular, the siege of Mariupol. Central to this logistics operation were once again the Russian landing ships. In this video footage, the Russian landing ship Saratov Hull number 150, a Tapir class large landing ship, is on fire after it has taken the direct missile hit from what is now widely believed to be a Ukrainian fired. Toshka U missile system, armed with a single 9K79 tactical ballistic missile. The Saratov was berthed, waiting to be unloaded of her full cargo of ammunition. It was consumed with fire in seconds. It is spreading quickly to the ammunition. As it begins to heat the intensity of the fire, the ammunition begins cooking off. The ship is doomed. Exploding ammunition and debris can now be seen launched into the air. Worse still for the Russian Navy, two Rapucha class landing ships, Khazar Gunikov and Nova Cherkask, are berthed next to the Saratov. Both damaged and on fire, they are desperately moving away from the burning Saratov and fleeing the port. There is, however, a problem with the hull identification number on the ship here in the foreground. Many media organisations claim it is the Nova Cherkask but it should be identified with hull number 142, as seen here in this photograph, but actually appears to read 55. This could be a case of the Russian Navy sowing confusion and misinformation by simply changing the hull number. Interestingly, the Russian Navy's Pacific Fleet does have a Rapucha class ship, the Admiral Levolsky, seen here, which is the same project class of ship, a 7752, with hull number 055. The ships are practically identical and would be difficult to distinguish.
After the attack, the Russian Navy gave little detail on the fate of the Saratov, but was presumed destroyed. The current whereabouts and status of the two damaged Rapuche class landing ships is unknown. On the 5th of August 2023, British Defence Intelligence reported the Russian Navy Rapuche class landing ship Olenogorsky Gonyak, hull number 012, seriously damaged the 4th of August 2023, and often ferried military and civilian traffic between Russia and occupied Crimea especially when the Kerch Bridge has been disrupted due to attacks. It is highly likely any remaining seaworthy Russian Navy landing ships will remain a highly prized target by Ukrainian commanders and as such will remain out of the reach of Ukrainian military assets. They will now very likely play a limited direct role, if any, in the Russo-Ukrainian war.